All right, I'm extremely nervous. I'm entering a bid in of $8,100 on a storage unit. Definitely the most I've ever spent on a storage unit by far. But this abandoned storage unit has a car in it, and it's not just any car. It's pretty much the, uh, the holy grail of hot rodding. The 32 Ford. And the really scary part about this storage unit is that I can only see a picture that's about this big and that's it. You can't, this is not a hand raised auction. This is a, an internet only auction. So you're pretty much just trying to make your best judgment on a three inch by two inch picture. And there is a few other things in here that I can sell and make some of the money back. But there's such a huge potential for gain on this storage unit that I think it's worth spending the money. I just bumped up my bid to $8,500. Uh, and this is actually kind of nice. It's a soft bid or it's a soft close auction, which means if someone puts a bid in in the last three minutes, that it will actually reset the three minutes again if it's within that, that last three minutes. Um, so it gives you a chance to keep upping your bid just a little bit. Um, and you basically just see who's willing to spend the most money at this point. I just bumped up my bid again to 8,700, but I gotta be really quiet because my wife's in the room. Oh my god, I won. That's not a technical error that says $8,700. Almost $8,800. So $8,800 is a ton of money to spend on a storage unit, but this having such a huge potential upside, and if you watched my last storage unit video, uh, I said I made about 10000 I actually probably made more like twelve or 13000 So spending this profit that I because I made such a huge profit on this last storage unit that really I don't have a whole lot of risk um, I know there's a car in there I know what the car is worth even in you know the worst condition it, it could possibly be so I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna do well on this and if you ever want to test the strength of your marriage go spend almost nine thousand dollars on something that you've never seen before um, I told my wife and she hasn't mentioned divorce yet so I think we're good see how much dust there is and if there's an engine in there I will just shit. man those are those are like quarter scale planes too those are huge yeah it's gonna be fun it will be fun <laughs> I think you'll make some oh my god this is way better than I thought it was gonna be let's get in here and check and see what's See what we got here. Right away, there's a lot of radio controlled stuff. Uh, there's a Fender. Looks like a Harley Fender, Harley gas tank. All kinds of plain stuff, hard case, what have you. And then there's a whole section back here. There's a jet, a helicopter, some ladders. There's a whole section back here that you couldn't even see in the pictures. There's another RC plane, and if you, it's really hard to tell because, but these are like quarter scale planes, they're enormous. So I mean, there's, there's a tire, a car tire right there, compared to the size of this thing. And some ramps. There's another drone. There's actually a nice chair right here. It looks like a massage chair, maybe. It's a whole bunch more RC helicopters. Check out that thing. All right, I've been dying to see what's in this cabinet. Well, the biggest disappointment of the unit so far, it's just cleaning, car cleaning supplies. But, there's a huge tool chest. Well, hopefully we can find the key for it. 
another RC plane. And there's actually an engine hoist hiding back here as well. So I went and took all the airplanes home because they're so fragile that I didn't want to put them in with anything else and I could barely get all of them in here because they're so big. Um, but let's go get some more stuff. All right, let's dust this thing off. See what's under here. It's a nice leather chair. Looks to be a massage chair. This two-wheeler by itself should be 40 or 50 bucks. There's also a, a material handling roller dealy. All right, let's get some mystery boxes. Some here, some up there. All right, so getting those mystery boxes out of here. There's now a toolbox. There's some jack stands and a bench grinder. And now you can see that engine hoist. That's not a cheap one. It's an AC Delco, a really nice one. All right, we're going for trip three now. I think I can get it in the fourth trip. The fourth trip will actually just be the car, but I want to get those cabinets and the toolbox and get those out of there and then get them back home and then we can go through the cabinets and we can go through those mystery boxes. Whew, that was a lot of work. So if you didn't catch it earlier, I've got three locks on here and it actually locks the whole cabinet and none of the drawers will come open. So I'm gonna drill these locks out and I know for a fact that there's a ton of stuff in here because this was so heavy that it broke my ramps that are rated for a thousand pounds. I can barely move it. So my hope is between this tool cabinet and all the tools that are in here, I can make a good chunk of my money back uh, enough to buy a motor hopefully for the car. Don't tell my wife that though. Yeah. Some cool signs. This looks like a good one. No clue what that is. All right, now that this will open, these drawers will also open. Lots of sockets, screwdrivers, nothing special yet. Here's a good one. That's snap-on, blue point. There's some more sockets and such. Pull big send the wrenches. Uh, there's something blue point over here. Some more deep well sockets. So normally the good stuff is in the bottom drawers here. Right away there's snap on. Here's a propeller for one of the planes. That's a blue point. That's a blue point. This is Napa, Blue Point, Blue Point. There's a set of wrenches, more snap on. Something for a TIG or a MIG welder, it looks like. A cheapy uh, die grinder. Just some kind of auto body tool. I would guess 10 to 15 bucks on that. Cheap drill, timing light, but it's snap on. Polisher, another sander, air driver. Ooh, that's a good one. Snap-on torque wrench, that's probably a hundred or hundred and fifty dollars. There's a snap-on something or another. Whew, it took me a minute to get this other side open, but let's check and see what all is in here. We got some more sockets, looks like. Lots more sockets and wrenches. Nice new sets. There's some big monkey wrenches. All kinds of hammers and some more odds and ends, but it does look like there's a snap on free gun down here. So that's that's a good one. Alright, let's check out these storage containers, see what's in here. Looks like some flight simulator stuff. Looks like a little router. Um, 
looks like another piece of the flight simulator. Some odds and ends, really not anything real great. Some video game steering wheel. It's a heat gun. It's like a hard case. Feels empty. And some more odds and ends tools, it looks like. This one looks like it's full of movies and Xbox games. So probably another couple hundred bucks here. Well, unfortunately, the storage cabinets weren't very eventful, so I'm not even going to bore you with the details on that. I am, however, taking my last trip to the storage unit, and I'm going to get the car out today, and we're going to let that baby see light, because I don't think it's been in, in the light for several years. Someone reached out to me through my classified ad and it was actually the guy that built this car originally which is pretty cool he gave me tons of information on it um, and really added a lot of value to the trade or the sale of this car the other thing I found out was this uh, the shell is a Corbin out of Atlanta Georgia and I looked them up and they sell for about sixty five hundred dollars just for the shell um, the chassis came from honest Charlie speed shop in California and these are about ten to twelve thousand dollars just for the chassis. So we've got the coupe all snuggled in here, safe and sound. And I just listed it for sale about twenty minutes ago. And I've got someone on the hook already for another hot rod trade. So we're gonna go check out that Roadster trade, but you're gonna have to stick around until next week because there's so much cool stuff going on that I can't squeeze it all into one video. So take a minute to subscribe. Take a minute to click the bell to get the notifications for the future videos that come out. And in the meantime, this is Retired at 40. And you're also going to see a lot more of this 34 Ford in upcoming videos. Remember to live life simple. We'll catch you next week.